Greetings and thank you for joining us today for a few moments of prayer and time in the Word. This week we are celebrating Jesus. We are just telling Him how wonderful He is to us. Even this, as we lead up to Christmas Day and uh, we celebrate the fact that 2,000 years ago, God stepped into our world in a very simple way, in a very humble way to be all that He is to us today. I want to remind us about Jesus, the mighty God, that this Jesus whom we celebrate, whose birth we remember and who, whom we worship and exalt, He is the mighty God. The prophet Isaiah and Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7, very, very familiar scriptures that we hear every year around this time. He said, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of His government and peace there will be no end. And upon the throne of David and over His kingdom, to order it and establish it with judge, judgment and justice from that time forward, even forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. These are verses we hear read out to us uh, almost every Christmas season. And in these verses, uh, Isaiah is telling us, you know, different facets of who this son is, who was born. And this little baby who was born, he says, he is the mighty God, mighty God. So Jesus, whom we celebrate during this Christmas season, he is the mighty God. Mighty God. Think about it. That He would step into our world in order to relate to us mere mortal beings. Finite. So insignificant. And yet He would step into our world. He would step into your world and He would say, I want to be your Savior. I'm coming to you to be able to speak to you, for you to be able to relate to me. I'm coming like a man. I'm coming in a form that you can understand. I'm coming in a way, speaking your language, living as you live, so that you can understand me, that you can relate to me. But actually, He is the mighty God. And for God to do this is just an expression of how much He longs to have this relationship with you and me. And we need to say, thank you, Jesus. That because you so wanted me to have a relationship with you, to be able to relate to you, to be able to understand you, you came in this human form to communicate, to reveal who this mighty God is. So that today I can understand a little bit, obviously not everything, but something about who this mighty God is, how much He loves us, how much He wants this relationship with us. So thank Him. Lord, thank You. I can, un I can understand something. I can relate to this mighty God in, in, in a way that I can understand. It. It's for my sake. It's for Your sake. What a wonderful relationship we have through Jesus with the mighty God of this universe. Oh, how we love Jesus. Let's take a moment to pray. Lord, we thank you that we can actually know, we can actually relate, we can actually understand something about this mighty God because of Jesus. Jesus, we worship you. You are the mighty God who came in human form so that we could understand, we could relate. 
Thank you for doing this. And you are so special, so precious to us. We are grateful for the relationship we have, for the understanding we have, for what we can share, Lord, with the mighty God. We worship you, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.